hello friends so today in this video uh, I'll be showing uh, you know how you can click on specific email on uh, into Gmail usually uh, you know this beginners uh, you know, face that problem that you know they are unable to identify uh, the you know the X path for specific email because you know the IDs for each of the emails are different and you know they keep getting changed so uh, so you know it's difficult to you know click on specific email okay so uh, you know for this tutorial I'll be using uh, one extension that is you know crow path for you know finding the uh, X path okay so let's get started so as you can see that you know there are many number of uh, you know emails here and let's say I wanted to you know I want selenium to click this specific email so let's just uh, you know open the chrome console okay so as you can see the id for you know uh, for this email is this id for the other email is this see so uh, you know we, we cannot depend on the id in this case so you know we have to uh, look to the specific attributes where you know the values uh, values are not getting changed like see there are this uh, id is one attribute class is class is one another attribute and so so as you can see that you know this class attribute is uh, you know same for all the email see for this one and for this one also this one also so you know uh, the class is uh, common for all the email so you know by this way I think uh, you know we can identify the X path so just uh, on the right path just click on this crow path uh, so, uh, this is the extension so you know to find the to find the X path we will be you know creating our own X path so this is the syntax and I'll be you know uh, okay specific tag so spawn at class equal to b o g and press enter see so this uh, crow path will you know identify all the web elements which has you know this class as a b o g so you know uh, uh, so we we uh, we get the you know list of web elements and from which you know we can select specific uh, you know web, web element uh, on which uh, well, we, you know we wanted to uh, we, we we want to click okay this specific email so let's jump to the you know the eclipse bar okay so you know i already created the project uh, in eclipse and you know I have created, uh, created two class and I have you know uh, for this uh, tutorial I have you know use the POM object model that's nothing but the page object model in which uh, you know we are keeping the uh, uh, the test file in uh, you know one class and the page objects in another class uh, I hope uh, you know uh, most of you are aware about the page object model so i'm just skipping that part you know and just focusing on how to click uh, you know email in gmail okay so till this part i think most of you understand that you know i have set up the chrome driver and and in this part you know i am going to the uh, gmail link okay and in this line i'm initializing this uh, you know gmail page object class which is nothing but this you know another class where i have set up the all the you know web elements uh, I'll, I'll be coming you you know on this uh, on this class uh, later so let's just move ahead so you know i'm initializing this uh, this class using page factory dot init elements and you know this is the syntax to you know initialize the page objects okay so once uh, you know uh, uh, my uh, objects are initialized uh, it will you know 
it will enter the email to logging into gmail then it will password and then you know it will click on this email so i have created the you know method for this uh, each action so let's uh, you know go one by one so this enter email method this is uh, you know i have specified in this gmail page objects class which is nothing but which which you, you know we just initialize okay so in this uh, you know uh, first i'm waiting for this element to be visible i have so this is another method which uh, you know i have written see what this method will do uh, it will you know take uh, web driver and web element as the arguments and you know it will see uh, this web driver wait uh, object will uh, you know wait for this 15 seconds and till the element uh, till uh, you know the element is visible so if the element is visible you know uh, before 15 seconds you know uh, it will identify the element and it will move ahead okay so so at this point uh, it will wait for this email field to appear which is nothing but the you know gmail's uh, first username field okay then uh, you know this uh, this line of code will uh, you know the uh, what it will do uh, it will move this uh, or you know the cursor to this email field email field uh, you know this this is the uh, you know web element which we have specified here on the top of uh, you know this gmail page objects uh, i hope you know uh, uh, many of you know this how pom uh, you know model works we are specifying the web elements uh, at uh, you know uh, on the top and then you know we can use at uh, you know any place where you know we need them so you know uh, by this way it will identify the you know gmails uh, the email field okay so it will move there it will click and then uh, you know it will send the email id uh, you know which we just have passed here so it will pass this email id okay and then this keys dot enter this will uh, you know this will press enter which we generally you know press from our keyboard okay so so what it will do it will uh, enter this email id and then it will press enter and then this action will be performed so if this action is performed this uh, you know this uh, this print uh, this uh, message will be printed okay and then i have returned this password field so it's, it's the same like uh, you know it will initially wait for this uh, you know this password field to appear so whenever it get this password field uh, it will move ahead to perform this action like it will move to the password field it will click there it will send the you know this password and then it will press enter and if it's successful if it's successful then you know it will log into gmail okay and this click email function will uh, you know uh, this uh, will look for this subject into into the list of elements or uh, list of emails sorry so what this function will do so this is the main part uh, you know which uh, i think many of you are looking for so this is the first line of the code will uh, you know wait for the profile logo because you know uh, i have written the method the way like uh, you know it will uh, it will look for specific web element and in this case i am just waiting for you know these uh, person's profile logo which is on the you know top right side of the gmail okay so if uh, you know if this logo is visible which means that you know user is logged in into gmail okay then i am using this loop so this email threads this is nothing but the you know this uh, the class bog which you know i have already told like this class bog contains the list of ele elements okay so this is the you know our main uh, list of elements which we need to perform our action okay so so it will initially get the uh, you know uh, get the size of uh, num number of emails okay and then uh, you know i am checking like uh, 
if this email threads dot uh, get dot i which means uh, get text so the, uh, it's uh, you know the text uh, email subject matches to our email subject which is nothing but you know whatever we are passing here like testing uh, testing email so i wanted to click this testing email and which is i'm uh, which is i'm passing here so uh, at this line of code it will check like uh, uh, from uh, from list of elements so if it gets this uh, you know testing email subject then it will click it will it will print email click and it will you know break the loop and it will come out of the loop so let's uh, you know let's uh, let's execute it and let's see how it works just a moment okay so it was just giving me the you know this XML where you know I haven't specified this package okay so let's just try to execute this script it opens Chrome driver navigates to Gmail it enters email it enters password and it will wait for that you know profile logo which you know uh, which email displays on the right panel okay see it clicked it, it, it happened so fast but you know it, it found this testing email uh, with this email subject and you know it clicked there okay so i hope uh, you know this video helped you a lot uh, you know uh, if you got stuck at some point please let me know in the comment section thank you